guys. I'd say the biggest change for me is being grounded. I, uh, I can't remember the last time that I've been in the same place for five plus weeks. Uh, playing squash and, and life on tour means living out of a suitcase and constantly traveling. And, and for the last month and a half, almost two months, I have been at my parents' house out in Long Island, uh, self-isolating. As far as quarantine goes, I am very lucky to have a lot of space and I can easily get outside. I've been doing a lot of nature walks. Um, and shopping, grocery shopping. Who grocery shops once a week and plans ahead knowing what they're gonna eat for dinner in five days? That has been one of the biggest struggles for me, but making do. With gyms and squash clubs and, and everything being closed and trying to stay in my own little bubble at home has meant that training has had to become a lot more creative. Um, a lot of body weight stuff, a lot of um, running, biking, plyometrics, working with the space that I have and, and yeah, really getting creative with it. I'd say that the first thing I did though was take about 10 days off, try and wrap my head around everything. Um, there's certainly no rush to, to peak for anything with the PSA season being canceled uh, basically through August at this point. So I took a little bit of time for myself to decompress and, and now have tried to be as productive of, as I can um, with, with what I've got. I've made a big push to try and do a lot more yoga, um, focusing on flexibility primarily, even if it's just 15 minutes in the morning, but I've tried to stay pretty consistent with it and I'm actually really enjoying it now. Um, whether it's the combination of no squash uh, and yoga that's making me feel less, less stiff in the mornings when I wake up or if it's the yoga um, doing the trick. I, I feel great for it, so I'm really enjoying that. I'm lucky enough to have a, a stationary bike, so I've been doing a lot of bike intervals, um, both long, slow grinds, riding for two and a half hours or so while I watch a movie or something. Um, I try and avoid a lot of the running and heavy pounding uh, for cardio work after having two serious knee operations. So. Uh, I love the bike for that. And you can also really crush yourself with some interval training on the bike, short and sweet. So that's been keeping me going. Uh, and yeah, just really getting creative with it. With my sister who's here, we've been doing some fun uh, body weight partner challenges. So definitely check out my Instagram to see some of those videos uh, for some ideas. Trying to stay on top of my mental well-being has definitely been a big challenge, um, particularly during these times of great uncertainty. But I think what's really helped is is knowing that it's okay to to be down uh, every once in a while, and and knowing that everyone's going through the same thing, so we're all in this together. But just trying to keep my mind as busy as possible. I've been doing a lot of reading. I've been working on puzzles. I, uh, I love sort of DIY jobs and arts and crafts projects. So I've been coloring and sewing and painting various things. Um, of course, I've been watching some Netflix. I'm in need of, of a new show. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. And I've also been doing some online classes, um, random stuff, trying to get better at Excel for whatever reason trying to brush up on my Spanish. Uh, MoMA, the Modern Museum of Art in New York City offers free classes. So I've been taking some fashion classes, not that that's necessarily helping me, but it's interesting and it's fun and I have time to kill, so why not? Um, yeah. Thanks for listening. 
Uh, please do get in touch if you have any questions, if you want more details and specifics about what I've been doing in workouts or mentally, or you just want to chat, please reach out on Instagram. I'd love to talk to you. And in the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.